Okay, guys, so next up, as you can see, we've got the awesome 301 Lockwood round body padlock. These 63 millimeter padlocks have an 11 mil hardened boron shackle there and are all in all a fantastic lock. These do have the Lockwood tapered pins in there and with bitting like that, you know you're in trouble. Highs and lows right the way through the lock, although this is only a five pin lock, as I said, the Lockwood tapered pins are notoriously difficult to set. We're gonna go in with a tapered uh, law lock tools uh, tensioner there, which we should just be able to fit in to the uh, bottom of the lock there and apply moderate tension. So we're gonna use a good strong 25 thousandths pick and uh, let's see where we get on with this. As I said, they are notoriously difficult to pick. We might end up dropping a few pins or oversetting a few pins, but hopefully we'll still get the open. Okay, so nothing on one. A little click out of two. Just going through pin by pin. Three's binding. Just keep nudging it till you get a click. Okay, I think I got a click out of uh, two that time. Okay, might have overset. One, two. Three's definitely binding, so let's just wait till we get that click. Just gently ease the pin up. Right, got a nice little positive click then out of uh, uh, two. Okay, one's binding. Same process, just gently nudge it into place. A nice little click out of uh, one that time. Four's binding. Same process, just nudge it into place. Nice little click out of four at a time. Drop some on the way through though. Three, I think. Just nudge three back into place. Nice little click on three. One's binding. Nice little click on one. A little bit of rotation on the core then. Okay, five's binding, heavy, heavy tension now. I don't wanna drop anything else now. Okay, got a nice little click out of five. Nice little click out of one, two. So we're just gonna go back through and just nudge each pin now. Okay, five, nice little click. Got to be very careful not to overset now. So just nudge each pin. Got very heavy tension on the lock to make sure we don't overset anything. Nice, nice little click out of one that time. A little click out of two, three. Just gonna go back through and just nudge each pin. One feels fine, two feels fine, three feels fine, four feels fine, and five, something's holding us up. Just touch one, and we actually managed to get this open, so not too bad. As I said, you do have to play like a little bit of a nudging game with them to actually get them open. And um, I said those tapered drivers, those tapered drives really are very, very effective. So what we do, we'll quickly take it apart, and I'll show you the uh, pins inside. So let's get the pinning tray over. I'll probably speed this part up. Let's just get it nice and square there, and then um, we'll uh, see the pins inside. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got the uh, lock disassembled now. I want to just show you these tapered uh, key pins there. As you can see, the little taper on the uh, top of the pin there. Each and every one of those has the same sort of taper on, as you can see there. And they really are very, very effective. Now if we look at the drivers there as well, once again, you can see that little uh, taper on there. Um, which uh, which is why you have to sort of set these pins twice. Each and every one of them has the uh, the taper on, as you can see, top and also bottom. So depending on whichever which, whichever way the actual pins orientated, you still got to deal with those um, those uh, tapered pins. Um, now I, I think the, the the way why they're so difficult to uh, to set is obviously as you sort of go through, you sort of push them up, and it just sort of gives into that first part of the uh, the taper there. Um, and then kind of just hooks back onto the actual uh, side of the pin. Um, and then once you've got them all into that sort of, uh, where you've got you've got them all kind of preset, so they're all in the taper, and then you just need to go through and just nudge each one again to actually get the uh, the final sort of uh, 
uh, set on the actual pins and then of course you get it open but if you maintain that strong tension and good pick placement with a very strong pick you will get these open in quite a good time listen guys hope you enjoyed that and thanks ever so much for your time guys really appreciate it and of course if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel and have a great day listen guys thanks a lot